y'all know I have to have one. Like, it's a rooftop. Or, it's the only two pieces I use. welcome back to my channel so this is a vlog i know my vlog is starting a little bit different this time but i want to play in some makeup because i want to practice since my birthday is coming up and i just really want to like be able to do my makeup this is not a tutorial so i really don't need to tell y'all what i'm using but i guess i could tell y'all i don't know why i'm priming my face but this is the elf poreless putty primer guys i have literally been so bored with the same routines like every day so i've been doing like um a kind of a reset and just buying things trying things because when i'm just doing the same thing over and over and over it just feel a little annoying but like i said i want to learn how to do my makeup for my birthday like i did my makeup for my birthday last year and for my dinner it came out so cute but I just want to keep practicing so I can constantly get better. I'm not going to get better if I don't practice. Now, I know these eyebrows might not look amazing because my eyebrows need to be done bad. I don't know why random times throughout the day I be craving a freaking smoothie. Like, I think it's because I be kind of want some sweet, but I don't really love sweet, sweet, sweet stuff. And a smoothie doesn't have to be mad sweet. If this is the e.l.f. pencil. I think that's just what it's called. Yeah, e.l.f. Ultra precise brow pencil if you've been watching my channel for a minute you already know benefit is my pencil this is cool tan and ellie pro girl ellie girl pro concealer yeah i thought february just was gonna start off like so productive this and that in this baby february was oh my gosh felt like i couldn't get in routine for nothing felt like i couldn't focus on anything for over 10 seconds i'm like how old are you six like you really can't focus that's why i don't like doing makeup it, you really have to have patience but i'm saying that but that's how people feel about cooking you really have to have patience for cooking now i'm gonna put on this sephora collection this is a new foundation i got i never spent 20 dollars for a freaking foundation before but this is shade number 27 in the sephora clean uh foundation so yeah I'm going to use the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush to blend it out. I was trying to buy a Sephora brush the other day, but they didn't have any, so... I hope you guys can see. Sometimes if you step back, you can see more. So, I got the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer in medium and caramel medium to dark. I got the very tiny one because I'm sure that's high. And then also, I've been seeing people not go like all the way up to this little part. They just like kind of go there because they say they crease fast right there. So, that's what I'm about to do. I also see people let that sit in, so I'm going to let that sit in. And while I let that sit in, I'm going to look for a brush because I kind of want to blend this in with a brush. But I can't find one at Sephora, so I couldn't buy one. I know they are shadow brushes, but I'll be seeing people use like brushes that look like this to blend in a concealer. I'll try to use this one. And I see people say hold it at the tip, like down here, so you can be light-handed. Mm. I feel like the nose looked up. Best. Like you can kind of see it right there, but it's a little blended. Mm, fun. I'm gonna like really blend it in by the eye area because I, I find that that doesn't be blended a lot. That don't be blended a lot. That's what so wrong when I throw it back. I don't just try to focus more on the outer edges of my concealer versus the actual part where the concealer is, but I am gonna tap that. In. people crease a lot under here and so do i it took me a while to even realize what the heck they was talking about when they be like i crease and creasing i'm like what are you talking about but I, they're talking about a crease that like shows through your makeup like kind of mine i guess and i crease fast too under my eyes not really anywhere else but i'm gonna put a little more a little more like right where i'm creasing and then I'm a before I blend it out, I'm like I'm gonna have my setting powder and stuff already open. The 
setting powder that I'm using is the Rikim Fenty Beauty in Cashew. I hear everyone keeps talking about this stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about my products. They're literally so fun. Then I'm going to take oh, my eyes are water, the Fenty powder. It doesn't come out a lot, so I'm going to have to like really shake this out. Why it came out spotty? Is it my beauty blender? I hate when my eyes, like right there, start looking like I put eyeshadow on, like rosy or something. Like I didn't put any eyeshadow on, so why do they look like that? I guess because they have no makeup on them, so maybe I should start bringing my concealer down there. Why is it so splotchy? Like, is it my sponge? Oh, I guess I was supposed to flick it into the... I'm gonna have mix all three of these. So I already don't have nothing. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 355, Elf in 10, and Ulta Beauty in. But the Ulta Beauty one is the one that really says bronzer. But sometimes it be looking like somebody punched the heck out of me. So I'm gonna just use that one first and see what it looks like. See, I don't know, it looks like, I like when they have a little red undertone because I like when it's like warm tone, but sometimes it be looking like somebody punched me. I be feeling like my face be looking so black though. I'm gonna go under my eyes with the makeup. I probably shouldn't do that because it's kind of close to the bronzer color, so I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, I need another bronzer. This is the Morphe Boost Pumps, and I'm gonna use this as liner. This is too much for me. So, guys, I feel like this is a good base to starting learn how to do makeup but i might have to make up yeah i feel like this is a good base to learn how to for me to learn how to start doing makeup but it's something that i'm missing like i feel like it's a good bronzer it is a good bronzer and it's a good crisp brow I'm about to take a picture. I hate this parking lot so bad. I feel actually sick as heck. Like, why is it such a spiral? So, we at the canal, please. I'm about to take a picture. I'm gonna put these glasses on. And I'm about to change my jacket. If you don't know how to take pictures, put glasses on, find scenery. Your pictures will never come out wrong. That would be hilarious if all of these pictures are hideous, right? Just have on a decent outfit, even if it's chill, long as it's like decent, half cute, half bomb outfit. Sunglasses, scenery, on our way to sex. I wanna look at kills. I don't know guys. Is it just me? If you're from New Orleans and you've been going to sex sometimes, is it just me? Or are the people in kills not that welcoming? Like I don't know. Yes, I wanna go, I really wanna go to the one on magazine and see how that is because I feel like magazine is more of a little a little more of a friendly area. But the people in kills and sex don't be saying nothing. They barely be looking at me. Like I don't know. And I don't even feel like it's just me like, oh, racial, no, I don't feel like none of that. I just feel like they really don't want to be in the kills department. Maybe it's something like that. I don't know. I don't feel like they're friendly with nobody. I like them Jeeps. It's The Jeeps that I like is like, sometimes they hit and sometimes they look basic. I don't know. I saw this jacket. Y'all know everybody doing the Forever 21 hoes. I saw this freaking jacket and when I say fire, just like this, but it's, it's like a more crop type of vibe. It's mad cute. All right, so I'm gonna see y'all when we get out of. 
<laughs> okay guys so we went to sex y'all already know and we went stop by Hermes and so uh most of the time when you buy something out of sex whatever department you buy something out they always give you like free stuff pretty much so you can smell it love it come back and get it really to be very honest but the lady gave me my mama these I was, when she was doing this she was like if you like these I would have to order them for you because they're not, they're not sold in the stores and as she kept shaking it I'm like is it your rings? like is it your rings? this one is rose Agbana <laughs> and then this one is Osan rose Osmanthi Osmanthi this one this smell good it smells like plants I love this. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Y'all know I love. I don't know. I, this one smells like olives out of a jar. <laughs> I'm talking fresh olives. You waste the juice on your. That is not what I'm getting. I'm getting pure olives, green. I'm not olives. getting olives at all, man. Really? No. I'm getting like. Oh my god. Not pine tree. I'm getting like tree. Smell it. It smells totally different on your hand. <laughs> I'm getting treat. <laughs> smell this. <laughs> smells like. Oh, well, let me start Instagram right now. What can I make them do? Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be all texting. Because I'm not going to enter a giveaway that I got to like two times, <laughs> drop three hearts, <laughs> jump, jump, skip, and hop over the freaking moon. High five your day, bro. Yeah, it's like I don't like those type of giveaways. Screenshot this clip. I hate those. Let me see. I'm a, to be very honest. I feel like I let me tell y'all for my giveaways like like as a smaller YouTuber and stuff like that, where I can see everybody really who watch my channel and stuff like that. I be wanting to, I be wanting to give it away to the people that show genuine love all the time. I I know who be showing love like people that I don't know. Obviously not my mom or Latrell Sierra. No. <laughs> obviously but like somebody that I genuinely don't know I've never met in my life and they be showing mad love on my page that's why I be want to give it away to them so I'm gonna be like hey guys so since it's the month of it is freaking oh guys excuse my hell it is late as heck I didn't even realize it was this late but anyways but I feel like I want to show you guys my night routine now. I didn't know it was this late. So we will be on a night routine kind of fast, I guess. But I mean, just still, still the same thing. I'm about to light my candle. This is the coconut milk candle. I got it from TJ Maxx when I tell y'all. It burns so good. So I'm about to light my candle that I was just telling y'all. Oh, it smells absolutely stunning. I'm going to light the candle in the bathroom and light the candle in the hallway. And I see I am actually in love. I put the candle here. Love that. Now that we did that, but uh, Pudi already has food, so that's good. I need to get out of my pajamas basically. I'm forgetting a whole important step. And that is get take off your outside shoes and put on house slippers. I absolutely hate walking around the house in normal shoes. My mama had me hating that so much. Then I'll also take off all my jewelry and put it on my little jewelry rack that I have. This is my little jewelry rack. I love it so much. I got it from Ross for like $8. But I want to move it from where I originally, like where I have it right now. I want to move it. I most of the time, this is a podcast in the bathroom. I usually use this soap. But I don't know really what this was. I don't know. Like it was from um Shea Butter or something. Like that's what I mean when I say I don't know what it was. Like I don't remember exactly what brand it was, but I think it was from Shea Butter. But we went to Lush. So I'm gonna use this one. This bar of soap. I like to use like soaps like that. This is like the feminine wash I use, honey pot. Honey pot 
Then I use the Tree Hut Exfoliant. As you can see, this is empty. This is the, I guess, island one. It's coconut and a pineapple on the top. And then the body wash I use. Sometimes I use my method, but most of the time when it's like nighttime and I'm trying to go to sleep, I use like a aromatherapy one. This is the Hot Spring Spa. The other one was like called Meditation or something like that. So I use that. Then I do my skin routine in the bathroom, which I'm not gonna say what it is, but once I get out the shower, I do my skin routine. I'm only not going to say what it is because I'm going to have that in the video, obviously. And then this is a face and body mask. Oh my gosh. So freaking aesthetic. I'm going to put this on when I get in the tub. They say leave it on 15 minutes, but I'm not about to do that because it's late and I need to go to sleep. I'm going to come back after I get out the shower. Okay, guys. I literally freaking insane because my baby hairs are gone from the shower. Oh my gosh. I look absolutely crazy. I can not even take myself right now you guys this freaking lash glue literally works so good because my lashes didn't come off and i legitimately like did my skin routine and they're not even budging but i already know when i get in the when i get in the bed and i'm about to go to sleep my eyes go to watering they're gonna be calm it's not gonna be no freaking saving them so after i do my skin routine i brush my teeth I brush my teeth and this is the my wash I have right now. I, you guys. So it works good, but I freaking hate. I hate this. Like, if you know me, I freaking hate spit. Like, I can't say the word too many times. People, people just walk and spit. If I see it, I'm gagging. I'm throwing up. Like, I hate it, right? I need, because of that, I need my wash that burn like burn bad because if not if it feel the way this feel just feel like i'm goggling spit in my mouth i'm literally about to throw up thinking about it so i hate this but it works good and i force myself like i just force myself to use it but they have another one that's like antibacterial type of thing that's the one i would more so use at night than this one i don't know feel like it clean your mouth out i don't know guys but i'm gonna brush my teeth and since the time it's the only toothpaste I use. I literally cannot use anything else. I'm, I just don't like the way it makes my mouth feel. Literally, this freaking toothpaste is $6 and some change. A tube. A tube, bruh. That's ridiculous. Y'all already know if this is not your first time here and you've been watching my most recent videos, literally my favorite product period right now like across the board this is just my favorite product i just love this freaking native deodorant like i love the way it smells i love the way it looks i love the way it feels i love the way it makes my body chemistry like i literally just love the freaking way this this deodorant native cucumber and mint specifically i don't know if it's just me or as i brush my teeth and like get out the shower and stuff at night time, I be like dehydrated. Like I be thirsty as heck. I don't know really what it is, but I be literally thirsty times 1,000 when I get out the shower and stuff. Then I just put on my Chanel body spray. Not too much, but just, you know, a little smell good spray. Once I get out, I mean, not too much. I just like to smell good. I want a different kind of body spray, but like talk about it in the morning times, but like a different kind of fresh type of scent for when I go to sleep. And then this is my lotion I use. Once this run out, I'ma get like a fresh or more fresh type of scent, type of type of lotion to wear at night time. But I was using my Chanel lotion at night and my Chanel perfume and, the, and my Chanel perfume body spray at night. And I don't want to keep using it. I feel like that's more daytime stuff. So, I got this as a gift, black raspberry vanilla. This crap smells so good. As I lotion, uh, finish putting on my lotion and stuff like that, I get in my bed, I'm trying to get the lotion put between my uh, fingers and journal. But literally, guys, I need to be going. Probably my phone in the back, my phone is in the back. I need to be going to sleep soon. So, I might journal, but not a full page tonight. I might just do a little something. I pretty much wrote a lot. I didn't fill a page up, but I pretty much wrote a lot. A lot. Then I just spray my room with the aromatherapy sleep 
but this one is the lavender and rose i don't know what my other one was but it was sleep but it was blue i just spray my room a little bit i don't too much focus on the room i just try to spray a little bit to give it that scent go make food with some water i need to get my phone out the bathroom but i don't i'm not gonna be able to record that so then i move my pillows around so that i can go to sleep and just spray my pillow with some room spray and spray my little blanket that i sleep with every night i always sleep with something like so every night usually either a blanket or a robe or something like that but i spray that and then i spray my pillow with the sleep spray and blow my candle out cut my tv on nine times out of ten i read but definitely late tonight so i'm not gonna read i'm just gonna cut my tv on i'm just gonna read my prayer on my phone and just go to sleep after that so i really hope you guys enjoy my night routine when i tell you guys i freaking love my night routine like it is i always used to like my morning routine more than my night routine but for some reason i started liking my night routine so much more like i was i feel like it's because i'm actually really doing stuff that make me actually feel like i'm winding down for the night and stuff like that i i want to put yoga back into my night routine i really do i just haven't been productive like that in that area so it's been hard to but starting tomorrow i'm gonna try to do yoga before bed when i give me a good morning routine down pack i'm gonna film that video for you guys too but it needs to be like my night routine to wear is actually waking me up just like waking me up and getting me ready for the day let's see you guys in my next one make sure y'all subscribe to my channel so i can see all my content follow me on instagram and stuff is always in the description so i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys